Vi kommer nu att få se en intervju med Mick Jagger som jag hade förmånen att få göra i en stad som heter Paris. Och inne i den här intervjun så finns det en video som handlar om situationen i Latinamerika. Och den videon är ganska otäck. Men den är inte så otäck som situationen i Latinamerika är. Och den är våldsam. Och ni som känner det så kanske då kan ta en paus. Men i början av den här intervjun så talade vi om någonting annat. Jag frågade Mick Jagger, kan man jämföra The Beatles och The Stones? There's a lot to compare. I mean, um, and also we were always in a bit of competition with them. Were you inspired by each other, you think? In a certain way, yeah. I was never the greatest fan. I mean, Keith liked them more than I did. Uh, oh, sorry, Keith. Keith Richards. Yes. He liked them more than, uh -huh, than, yeah. than I did. Yeah. But I think from a songwriting point of view, he liked them. And at that time, I wasn't really interested in writing songs. Right. So I didn't really appreciate perhaps that part. Do you think uh, there was a great difference in image making, if we speak about that aspect? I mean, like, the Beatles were nice little kids. Yeah, and well, that's the cliché. Yeah. Um, in actual fact, the Beatles were horrible little brats, yeah. uh, as John Lennon would have told you. Yeah. I mean, he was yeah. rude to everyone, but no, and he just did it with a smile. <laughs> yeah. Everyone thought it was nice. <laughs> yeah. But um, How about you in the Stones? Well, we did it. We did it without a smile, and everyone thought we were nasty. It was yeah. quite similar. Yeah. There was no difference there, really. You mean, but in the in the in the uh, general public's opinion, the, the, the yeah. Well, they wore kind of suits and ties and all that for a long while, and they ha and they and their manager wanted them to be accepted a, as an establishment figure more. You were accused of sometimes of uh, vulgarity and stuff like that. Yeah, well, we were vulgar, but everyone was vulgar, everyone was vulgar. Wasn't the competition extent. on being the most vulgar in a way? Between who? Different rock bands. No, we were definitely the most vulgar. Yeah. Yeah. But that wasn't purpose, I mean, that was a, a... Well, it was just how we were. Yeah. We were very vulgar. I mean, I'm not quite so vulgar now. I'm no. trying to be polite. <laughs> That's nice of you. Um, and, and if, if you, uh, this is a stupid question. Okay, okay. make who, a stupid question. Who are the greatest? The Stones or the Beatles? I don't care. No? I think it's an irrelevant question. Yeah. For instance, if we take your latest record, yeah. uh, the, the uh, Undercover yeah. song, uh, I get the feeling that this is about, you know, Chile, Uruguay, the atmosphere of Latin America. Uh, is that what you think too? Yeah, sure. It's about, uh, but it's about, really about political repression. Yeah. Severe political repression, yeah. say Africa and South right. America. And, and it's also about things that, you see, we're very comfortable here, you know, in yeah. Paris. Yeah. Uh, or wherever. You know, yeah. we could be comfortable where we're in, in America, Central America or somewhere, mm. where we, we could be doing this interview. Yeah. But outside, or somewhere in the town, is, go yeah. is a lot of things are going on that we don't like. Right. Uh, that, that, that are horrific mm. in this town now. So that we can be quiet about it and um, it's still going on but you, do you feel uh, and still you say you don't have any political message yeah there's a political message in this song that it's, it's a definitely political song I'm trying to explain what it is it's um, that the one I've just said that, that people like to put their head in the sand and um, not realize that we were very comfortable and but just outside the door is all this stuff going on. How do you like ABBA? You know? What ABBA? can I say? I don't want to be mean to the biggest Swedish group. I guess so, yeah. But uh, you don't uh, feel so much uh, about I don't it. think they're very representative of rock and roll. It's a sort of pop group. Synthetic. Yeah. I'm sure they're very nice people. I never met them. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, how would you define, I mean, shortly, the, the difference between rock and pop? Well, pop, you might say, you could say that is is a manufactured, a synthetic kind of music with a roll of froth on it. Of course, they both, they mix at the yeah. some point, they come rock, together. Rock is the wider uh, concept? Yeah. yeah. Rock can include almost jazz. It can go from jazz to blues, you know, and yeah. mix in the middle. 
Well, as you say, pop we use that in the world of English is a sort of confection music made for mass consumption with no uh, real emotive feeling. Right. Uh, uh, regrettably, you don't have only good memories of Sweden, I guess. Uh, Mostly good. Yes? Yeah, nearly all good. In uh, Ullevi. Ullevi? Yeah. In Ullevi. You had two uh, successful concerts there last yeah. year, right? Yeah, very good. But some people at the customs were, were a bit uh, maybe uh, not polite. Yeah, well, it was, I think, you probably know more than I do. It was a political thing of the mayor of wherever it was we landed. And it's funny because the only country in Europe that wanted... And the customs men were so embarrassed about it. Mm. I felt very sorry for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but they were, mm. they were not really a problem. All right. It's Did a bit boring, though. You were, you were uh, frisked, what do you call it? Uh, frisked. What do you call it? Frisked. <laughs> yeah, frisked. Yeah. Okay. Um, frisks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and now the question of censorship. Uh, uh, you know, um, you had, sometimes you had the line, um, black people, no, sorry, black girls like to have intercourse all night. Oh, fuck all night. Right, exactly. Um, uh, they like to fuck all night. Um, and some It's not true, of course. No. <laughs> uh, half the night. But uh, <laughs> the company said, take that line away, right? No, they didn't. That's a lie. Yeah, they never said anything. Oh, I It was Jesse Jackson who was running for a Democratic... Uh, president? President. Yeah. Democratic. Ticket. Uh, yeah, who who objected to it? Really? Yeah, maybe, it, you know. Yeah, he likes to get you know his name in the paper. Yeah, yeah. Like all politicians. So nothing happened. Though. I mean, uh, it was just uh, him because I. I uh, yeah, really, no one else made any fuss. Just mm -hmm. Jesse. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the Reverend Jesse, the man of God, <laughs> the next president of the United States. Yeah.